When you're learning math, sometimes you'll have a problem like this. 2 over 3 equal what over 12? And you have to figure out what goes in the question mark. Sometimes it might have a letter in there instead of question mark or an X or even an empty box. But you have to figure out what goes in that spot. Well, I'm going to teach you how. And I'm going to use my little baby to show you. Here, I'll show you baby. His name is Baby. His name is Baby. And Baby is going to show you how to do that. To do this, you put a little baby time sign and a little baby time sign. And you say it in a little baby voice. Little baby time sign. Little baby time sign. Three times what little baby number will give you 12? Three times what little baby number hmm, will give you 12? Three times four. Three times four will give you 12. Bring that little baby four up. Times two is eight. So what goes in that spot? An eight. Yay! Let's try another one. Let's try um three over five equals what over ten? How do you do it? With a little baby. Little baby time sign. Little baby time sign. Five times what little baby number will give you ten? Five times what little baby number will give you a ten? <gasps> two! Two! Bring that little baby two up! Ah! Three times two is six. And that's how you do that problem. Bye-bye. Baby says bye-bye.